idea behind instruments in the attic was that people have instruments that are not being used, but we, you instinctively know that it was important in their life at some point, and that allowing them to donate it to George Mason University along with a teaching experience would bring them closer uh, to the university as a supporter. I was in Costa Rica three years ago for a visit with some of my students and we were performing at the conservatory there and I ended up meeting with the director of the conservatory at the time and told him about all the different things we were doing at George Mason including the Instruments in the Attic program and his ears kind of perked up and he said well you know we have this Sinem school program uh, which is basically community music schools all over Costa Rica that serve to uh, enhance the quality of life and build community through music. And they had a great need for instruments. My dream is to become some type of an international teacher or some type of a music teacher in a non-traditional way. Being able to see something like this take action is invaluable for me as a future educator, as a future um, musician. Since Dr. Cabrera started at George Mason, one of his desires has been to see our students working more globally and thinking more globally. He has encouraged faculty and encouraged administration at every level to have uh, more experiential international programs. I've learned that it's a lot of work to plan this program and I'm glad that the students have been allowed to see what it's like and what it's like to be budgeting, doing the project. I mean, from listening to all the faculty that have already been on the trip, I think it's going to be a great experience. I'm just really excited to meet the students and the faculty and just to learn as much as possible and to share my passion. Through their work, we've created concert programs that we'll be presenting at the conservatory and at various SNM schools. We've been able to bring them to day violins to learn how to repair instruments and get some uh, foundation work on that. Music can connect you to somebody who doesn't speak the same same language as you and suddenly you know you're teaching this child a fingering to something and then they play it and their eyes light up and you're like how did that just happen like we speak different languages but it's so cool and it just excites me so much to see that like we're from different parts of the world we grew up in totally different lives and yet we can come together and we have this heart and soul connection and this bond together. Getting the instrument donated is a huge monetary uh, value, but we need cash to have them repaired, and in the case of the Costa Rica Teaching Scholars Program, to actually get them shipped. But as a donor, rest assured that we are uh, excellent stewards of your money, and we respect it uh, and the instruments and the music that it, 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 it provides.